The late Howard Ziff founded the UMass Journalism Department in 1971. He was also the host of the long-running program Hollywood Classics here on WGBY. Ziff died April 10th at the age of 81. Producer Dave Fraser gathered memories of this highly respected man. Howard wanted to educate people broadly. He focused on the big picture. He was very interested in, in literature and history and philosophy. He tried to teach journalism as one of the liberal arts, but still give people, you know, make sure that they could write clearly and quickly and accurately, make sure that they could, uh, were aggressive reporters, ask good questions, get out on the street, uh, you know, use the telephone, use shoe leather. Howard, uh, Howard and a search committee uh, hired me in 1973, and uh, he was building uh, a journalism program at UMass. He had been at UMass by then for two years. I think the, the opportunity to come back to the Valley was really, at, at the age of 41 or 42, and begin this new venture was really gratifying for him. He was iconic to this area, and he was something that this area really needed at the time. You know, uh, if, if you go on the Facebook page that, that's kind of been put up recently since how, how he died, and you see all of this legion of former journalists uh, the, the, uh, that, that he, whose lives he touched, his days at Channel 57 with the, with the movies and stuff like that. I mean, people, that, a lot of people knew him only through that, you know, but... Uh, but to know him as a journalist was, was a pleasure and, and a real uh, uh, treat for the people who knew him. But what's great is that anybody who wants an idea of what Howard was like or could be like as a lecturer in the classroom simply has to look at his introductions to Hollywood Classic and you get a free sample. You could take the course. Um, he, he uh, had wonderful memories of going to the movies as a boy in Holyoke. One of the, I don't know the name of the theater, but it was a Hollywood movie palace in the 30s and 40s. And going there on a Saturday afternoon was high adventure for him. And this is a chance for him to, to introduce some of these movies to a, 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 a new audience. But what memories I have. I was born and brought up in Holyoke, and I went to this theater every week for 10 or 15 years. Hollywood Classics was a program that we produced here at Channel 57 in the early 80s through 91. And Howard created a wonderful following and he created a wonderful enthusiast enthusiasm for films because he loved them. One of the most fun things we did was the Red Rock Drive-In. And he drove up in a 57 Chevy with a, with a redhead in the car. And his name was up on the um, billboard and it said Howard Ziff Hollywood Classics and of course he just finessed it was it was as, it was as if he did it every day of those kinds of movies you might have seen in a drive-in theater during the heyday of the outdoor movie he loved doing the research for his introductions often I would stick my head in his office uh, late in the afternoon and he'd have five or six books and I'd say what are you doing well, I'm working on an introduction for this uh, uh, Bogart film, and uh, he he probably did more research than he had to do, but he just he relished it so much. Well, this is the lobby of the Mahewi, reconstructed to look exactly as it did during the administration of Teddy Roosevelt. Often, when I'd be out and around with him, people would come up and 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 talk to him as if he were a, an old friend, their their movie friend, and he he enjoyed that. He always gave those people a lot of time. Welcome to, to the Rivoli Theater. For years, it was a delight just to work with him, to have the challenges that we had, and to have his input, because he always gave a good creative input to us. He was good to work with. We miss him. <laughs>